I think VP membership, we need to, uh, uh, after this contest season is over, we need to go back and talk to all our uh, members. Some of them have forgotten that they have it. We have a Toastmasters club like this. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, they have. They, are the, I don't know whether they follow the groups. I don't see many of them. And if the mentors can take an interest to go talk to each one of them, that'll be great. Well, I did. Okay, now the time is 7.30. All right. I say you're good to go. Am I able to everyone? Absolutely yes. audible. <clears throat> Hello, Toastmasters and distinguished guests. I welcome all of you to the 48, 45th meeting of Bahrain IT Professional Toastmasters Club. Before I start the meeting, I request all of you to please turn off your mobile phones or keep them on a silent mode. To succeed in life, we all have a mission. Just like those individual missions, our club have a collective mission. The mission of our club is to provide supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. Now I hand over a control to our president to call the meeting in order. Please welcome our president, TM Santosh Abraham, with huge around applause. I couldn't hear the applause. <laughs> <laughs> good evening, good evening, and the meeting number 45 of the BITB Toastmasters is called to order. Now, I hope you heard this. Now, can we go ahead with the introduction of the guests, please? Uh, who are the welcome guests to this meeting? Can you please introduce yourself? Um, we have invited guests, role players, as well as others who are attending the meeting. Uh, can we have, we have, uh, our general evaluator, I would give you, madam, the first opportunity to say a few words. Toastmaster Sandhya. Yeah. Thank you, President. Uh, I'm Toastmaster Sandhya, the VPE of uh, Smedley Bearin Toastmasters Club. And um, I was invited by uh, Toastmaster Vikarudin. Thank you so much for that, to be the evaluator for this meeting. Over Thank to you. you. Thank you so much for joining us. You're, we are starting this meeting with your smile. Thank you. <laughs> Give a round of applause, sir. We've got Ginny Johara, um, our good old friend from, good young friend, sorry if I used the wrong attributes. Good young friend from uh, the St. Paul's Toastmasters. Uh, would you also please introduce yourself? Uh, hi, good evening. Uh, Toastmaster Abraham, the president. And Every fellow Toastmasters and guests, this is Ginny Johara from St. Paul Toastmasters. I'm the VP Education. I'm so glad to attend this meeting and I couldn't say no to Toastmaster Mohammed because once at the crucial minute, he helped me. So when he messaged me, my answer was done, go ahead. So thank you so much for inviting me and thank you so much for myself that I was free today to come to your meeting. And I wish I have a wonderful meeting. And of course, I am going to evaluate Victim Khalijalan. Oh my. So wish me all the best. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Janine. Then welcome. Wish me all yeah. the best. All the best. Yeah. And at uh, Toastmaster Vikardin, probably one day you got to give us a speech on how people can't say no to you. No? Uh, now we have we have Khalifa Al Jawadar. Uh, Khalifa, can you can you please introduce yourself, please? Khalifa, if you can hear us, or can we have Chetna? Chetna Sethi there. Hi, good evening, all. Um, I'm Chetna Sethi. Um, I'm uh, I've recently joined Bahrain Educators Toastmasters, and I'm a kindergarten teacher with the New Horizons School, Bahrain. Thank you for inviting me to this meeting. And all the best to all the speakers. Thank you. Thank you, Chetna. Thank you for joining us. A round of applause, Chetna. We have. Yes, uh, hello, yeah. sir. This, this is Khalifa Jodar. 
Sorry, I had a problem with the uh, audio. No problem. Yeah, my, yeah. Uh, my name is Khalifa Al Joder. I am a Toastmaster with the Bahrain Educators Toastmasters. Uh, I, I started my career uh, with BetterCo as internal auditor, uh, IT auditor, and cost accounting manager. And uh, my last uh, employment was with the Central Bank of Bahrain as director of accounts. Now I'm doing my own uh, consultancy, both uh, management and accounting. And I'm also uh, uh, accredited trainer for the CISA and still still involved with the ISACA Bahrain chapter uh, whenever they have any issues related to the standards uh, and, and uh, consultancy with regard to issues with the industry as well. Okay. Khalifa, you're in the right place. This is a bar in IT Protons Toastmasters Club. You should be joining. Yeah, yeah. I mean, thank you. Thank you. And uh, Sonika, uh, if you can hear us, could you please introduce yourself? Sonika, can you hear us? Uh, uh, if you can't, our guest. Hi, yeah. everyone. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Uh, I'm a. Uh... I'm Sonita, I belong to India. I just saw this message. I got uh, maybe someone group was there in the WhatsApp. I saw this one, I got the, this link. I just think the meeting is going on. All right. Thank you so much for coming over all the way from India. I know it's a little late there, but thank you for joining us, player. Hope you'll enjoy this meeting. Thank you for again. Sure, sir. Sure, yeah. sir. Yeah. And we, uh, we have Ahmad here. I believe he's our member, Ahmad Risk. If it is not, you can introduce yourself because Ahmad is a very common name. Is that you, Ahmad Risk? Yes, sure. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, is that you, Ahmad Risk? Yes, yes. Yeah, it is you. Okay, at least put your picture there. We don't know whether it's a guest or you. <laughs> no, I was there already. <laughs> Best. Okay. Okay. Thank you for joining us here. I welcome all the guests again to this 45th meeting of the BITP Toastmasters Club. Can I ask the Vice President Education if uh, the uh, agenda is in order? Yes, uh, the agenda is in order, and um, we didn't have any change. Late, I mean, at, at the last minute, everything okay. is. Okay. So agenda is in order. There is no change. So in that case, can somebody adopt the agenda? I, Toastmaster Muhammad Vikar, adopt the agenda. And Amit Singh has seconded the agenda already. So uh, yeah. yeah. So the agenda has been adopted by. Vikarudin, Toastmaster Vikarudin, and and seconded by Toastmaster Amit Singh. Fellow Toastmasters and my dear friends, some of you are new Toastmasters, some of you are old Toastmasters, some of you are midterm Toastmasters, some of you are active, inactive Toastmasters. Either way, as you say it, I've been, I've joined Toastmasters way back in 2002. And I've been a Toastmaster till 2009. I enjoyed the Toastmasters in many ways. I took a long break. And there's somebody called Khalid Jalal who pulled me back into Toastmasters way back in 2019. And here I am the president of the club again. And the second term as a president and all together in Toastmasters. You know, yeah, thank you for that. That means you're appreciating me as Toastmasters. Anyway, a few months, six more months ago. But uh, I think less than that. But um, I wanted to tell you something is that last two days back, somebody called me. An old Toastmaster called me all the way from India. And... He called me and he said, uh, is that Santosh, do you remember my voice? I was, I was, I could remember his voice very quickly. And this is a man, he's retired and he's gone back to India. Now, he was telling me that, you know, I just remembered you two days back because I was sharing about you with my children and grandchildren. I said, is there something wrong to, about me that you could share with your children and grandchildren? Now, what actually happened is that Way back in 2003, when he came to our the club that I was in, I was, I was part of the WMC Toastmasters Club that time. When he came into that club, he, uh, myself and a few of uh, the other great speakers, in fact, better speakers than me, I guess, they were speaking. And when we were speaking, the man came in, he watched for some time and sat in amazement. After the meeting, he, could, he came, approached us and said, Sirs, if I could have speak with at least a fraction of the elegance that you guys have, I would. I don't mind coming back to this club. 
we told him that it's not a fraction. We believe that he can do better than us. And he became a member of the Toastmasters from that day onwards. Believe me, he progressed so well. He would take up every opportunity. Now, he was a simple person who would go to work, come back home, had his family. That's it. A simple life. But he was a person so sought out, you know, like our Mohammed Vikaran, whom we call as an international Toastmaster today. He was a person who was sought out that everybody would call him for evaluation. Everybody would call him for uh, roles and he was available. And he moved up to uh, with uh, the ATM bronze and ATM silver, ATM gold in the old syllabus. And he became a DTM. At the same time, he grew up in his company from a normal employee's role into a manager with a good salary, with a good car, with good perks. And he came back and said, uh, Santosh, I would like to thank you that that day you spoke. I mean, you spoke there, you said a few things that inspired me that I, I could join Toastmasters. And now he went back, he retired, he went back. And just the two days back, he was talking to his own his own family members, his children and his grandchildren are saying that, you know, somebody inspired me to come and to join Toastmasters. There were a group of people who inspired me. And then when he looked at the WhatsApp and he saw my number and he decided to call me. Now, what really struck me is that even after a decade or even after one and a half decades, somebody still remembers that we inspired them. That is what Toastmasters does. You know, you inspire somebody and somebody else inspired us. And in fact, today, that person has inspired me back again. So it goes in a circle. So inspiration is part of this. So in Toastmasters, if you've got to be in Toastmasters, get out of Toastmasters, what you need to get out of Toastmasters, you've got to be an active Toastmaster, not just a paying Toastmaster and enrolling yourself. If, if you really know the benefits of what Toastmasters does, then the VP education did not, will not have to run after you in after every... For every meeting to take up roles, you would naturally come up and take roles. I know you're busy with your work. I know you're busy with your, your career. I know you're busy with your family. Family stands first. I, I believe this so. But there is always a possibility of making time. And we all say that that is why this same, the, the Toastmasters moment was formed by Dr. Ralph C. Smedley in Santa Ana, California, in way back in 1924, where today we have 358,000 ambitious members all across to 143 countries, spread across 143 countries. And Toastmasters, for you to get a desired benefit, you will take maximum advantage by taking up the role of being active as a Toastmaster. Because ultimately, it's not just to be a Toastmaster, it's not just to be intelligent, but you also, it's important to be ambitious. Because what is intelligence without Intelligence without ambition is like a bird without wings. So let us all be Toastmasters, not just Toastmasters or members, but ambitious Toastmasters who are flying with great wings. And we all can do it. Because if you remember that person, I don't want to name him because he, he, he started as a very small person, uh, in the small person in the sense he hardly could stand up and speak. But today he's, he's speaking way back in India because of the experience and expertise that he gained from Toastmasters and the inspiration that he gave. You know, don't take anything for granted. Today, when you talk to a person after he completes a speech, because each one of us come up with some unique talents, abilities, and unique history. You know, the, the history that I come in, the story that I have to share, you don't have that story. You know, the story I hear from you is not something that I could hear. That's why we are knitted together as a community here where we can each share the lessons that we learned and the strategies that we applied the medicines that we apply to make us successful, which, which will also make the others successful. Don't take it for granted. Don't feel that it's just a speech. Every time you speak something, you speak wisdom. And that is where you know you can inspire people. Otherwise, you will just live in this world, walk out of this world, one day shoved away from the world. Nobody will ever remember your name. But here, Ralsi, Dr. Rasi Spenley has given us an opportunity to be remembered and to go where nobody else has walked so that you can leave a trail. And today, let us all be part of this club this week, this term, you said, you put this uh, uh, this logo and the tag as with even greater enthusiasm. Now, that will remain as a tag unless and until the enthusiasm really comes from because enthusiasm is contagious. Let's all be having that contagious enthusiasm, not just in one meeting, but in series and all meetings together. With that, I would like to go across to the next step of the 45th meeting of the Toast the WBITB Toastmasters. And I would like to welcome everybody to the 45th meeting of the BIT one more time to the, the new people who have joined right now. To captain this meeting, we have 
the person who's invited most of you to this meeting, who is our VPPR, Toastmaster Mohammed Vikardin, whom we always call as the international Toastmaster because, you know, I don't know, uh, he's got this magical ability to be everywhere. You know, he's, he's omnipresent. Uh, he's, like he's here today and he's there tomorrow. And I, mean, I don't know, maybe he can attend three meetings at the same time. Not everybody has that capability. Now we have this, um, uh, uh, he's also not just a VPPR, he's also a part of the area where he's, uh, I believe he's the, he's the CGD for the area. And then he's also a marketing coordinator for the district. So let's welcome the captain of the show. And I now can pass the virtual control to the TMOD Toastmaster, Mohammed Vikarin. Let's welcome him with a big round of applause. If your hands are free, please. Thank you, Mr. President, for my brief introduction. Whenever I will get time, I have no, no work, then I join the meeting. And by the time there was a meeting is happening, so always I am taking their experience, like I, I am taking from the beginning when I join as a Toastmaster in VITP, I keep attending as a guest. Our IPP at that time was the president. He said, no, no more guests. You have to be a member. <laughs> so I will not take much time. So we have, we have a theme for our uh, today's meeting. Are those who know equal to those who do not know? This is the theme has been suggested by our VP education. So for that theme, nothing is last forever in the world, except for the change itself. This is the analogy of how world is always changing. The theory of change has actually been discovered by Darwin with his evolutionary theory. Darwin's statement is related to the theory of evolution. Survival in the fittest. It relates to something that adaptable. Darwin's statement concerning the words, leaving the things that it relates to something that adapted. Darwin's statement in the other word is related to natural selection. This theory can be linked to change management and companies that cannot change with the existing condition will fall. Companies, they cannot adjust to the environment will lead to destruction. We can see some companies that are destroyed because they cannot adjust to market circumstances. We have an example of companies that were destroyed because they cannot adjust to the environment among others like Nokia. This company has become the king of mobile phones in the companies all around the world. Nokia phones are excellent in the heart of customers around the world. But since the existing of smartphones, Nokia did not quickly catch market changes. The second example is BlackBerry, which once become a pioneer of smartphones, but lost to compete with Samsung and also lost in the market. Samsung used to be scorned by Sony, but now Samsung has learned left so far. So this keep changing. As I asked about some of our members, 
about the themes, about their thought process. So I asked uh, one of our VP education and he talked about his thought process. It represents knowledge. The person who is constantly learning will increase their scientific and knowledge inside frequently, which makes them wise with time. And in opposite situation, we cannot put the ignorance at the same level as a learner. One more member, our IPP, DTM Khaled, he said about the thought about the theme, everyone is unique in their thinking process. Those who know are not equal to those who don't know because those who know don't know how much they still don't know. Those don't know, don't know how much they know. And our president also shared about the today's themes. We call those who don't know as ignorant. They may information, but no knowledge. In this world, there's a lot of information, but very few have knowledge. And I asked one of our, the last message came from our Toastmaster Amit. He has mentioned about the theme, his opinion, both are not equal. Those who know actual has acquired some knowledge. And this is the change of practicing knowledge, which eventually will enhance his knowing, ultimately help his unwisdom. So I will not take much time now we will go forward our meeting. Our meeting consists three parts. The first one, speaking. The second one, evaluation. And the third one, we have a table topic, impromptu speaking. Those who remember, they have to think out of their feet. So for continuing this meeting, I have a role player, which is helping for us to meeting to happen. I will invite the first role player to helping me keep the time of each role and reports time. I welcome Toastmaster Ahmad Riz to tell about his timing criteria, how he will display, when he will intimate about that time. Postmaster Ahmed Risk. Postmaster Ahmed. Uh, TM Modi, Postmaster Ahmed Risk is having problem with his laptop. Maybe you can continue with other role players. Meanwhile, he's coming. Thank you, Mr. VPN. Now uh, we have a wonderful Toastmaster, Toastmaster Yunus Abdullah, and he's taking an opportunity to do the dual role. So I call him one by one. Toastmaster Yunus Abdullah, you can explain the role as a grammarian. What is your role? Unmute, unmute yourself, please. Hi, you can hear me? Yes, now I can. Oh, yeah. So hi, everyone. Good evening, uh, Toastmaster and guests. Thank you at the beginning, Toastmaster uh, Fakaradi. Uh, as a grammarian, it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all speakers listening carefully to their language usage. I will notice of any improper language as well any outstanding word, quote, saying, or thought. It is also my duty as a grammarian to introduce the word of the day. For today's meeting, the word is sagacity. This is the word, sagacity. 
it is a noun, which means the quality of having or showing understanding and the ability, the ability to make good judgments. An example of using this word is, they show their usual practical sagacity. Another example is, his air of kindness and sagacity tempts people to confide in him. Thank you, back to you, Toastmaster Fakhardi. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Yunus Abdullah, for your role about grammarian. And again, I would like to invite you, and I really thanks you have taken another role as an counter. So you can say about the counter what you will be noticing during our meeting. Thank you again, Toastmaster Angus. It is me as a counter. It is my responsibility to, to listen carefully to your words, the overused words, including and, well, but, so, and you know. I will also listen for filler sound, including a, uh, um, and er. Uh. At the end of the meeting, I will report the number of times that each speaker used those expressions. Back to you, Fakardi. Thank you so much. Toastmaster Yunus Abdullah for taking the counter role. I encourage our speaker, evaluator, able topic speaker to use as much as you can use the word of the day, sagacity, sagacity. And now I believe our uh, Toastmaster Ahmad Riz, are you here? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for being over here. So can you explain about the role of the timer for today's meeting? Yes, Mr. and Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, uh, good evening. As a timer, I will, I will, I will time the to table topic speakers, uh, formal spe speeches and the evaluations. I will also alert each speaker of the time they have left using the green and yellow and red cards, which donates specific time remaining. For, tip, for table topic, speakers should limit their remains remarks to no more than two minutes. First, first minute, I will raise the green card. First minute and 30 seconds, I will raise the yellow card. Two minutes, I will raise the red card. Four speeches should be limited their remarks to their specific speech time. Icebreaker speech should be four to six minutes in length. Four minutes, I will raise the green card. Five minutes, I will raise the yellow card. And six minutes, I will raise the red card. For, for other speeches, five to seven minutes in length. Five minutes, I will raise the green card. And six minutes, I will raise the yellow card. At the seven minutes, I will raise the red card. Individual evaluations should be between two to three minutes. The, at two minutes, I will raise the green card. Two and 30 minutes. The 30 seconds, I will raise the yellow card. At three minutes, I will raise the red card. Thank you. Back to you. <clears throat> uh, there is a concern, Toastmaster Ahmed. Can you show to the audience how you will use the green card, yellow card, and the red card? Sure. Now, uh, if it comes to two, uh, you will see my profile picture will change to green. Can you highlight him, please, sir? Yes. It's there already. I changed it. My profile picture. Okay. After that, it will be also, I will change it to yellow. And at the same time, to red. Okay. Thank you, Toastmaster Ahmad Riz, for showing the timing card. Now, uh, we'll move on. Now, we have today's meeting to see our general evaluation for from meeting start to end and uh, moving up uh, improvement. So we have a general evaluator. Toastmaster Sandhya Ashokan. He is VPE of Smadley Bahrain Toastmasters, working as PTO in Femtech. 
So I would like Madam Toastmaster Sandhya to explain her role to our audience. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Vikaradin. Good evening once again, fellow Toastmasters and guests. As a general evaluator, I would be evaluating everything that takes place throughout the meeting with sagacity. I'll take notes on everything that happens and doesn't happen. I'll evaluate each participants in the meeting and look for good examples of preparation, organization, delivery, enthusiasm, and performance of their duties or roles. At the end of the meeting, I'll give my report with sagacity. Thank you and over to you, TM Modi. Toastmaster Vikarabhi. Thank you, Madam General Evaluator for your role. I am very delighted you are here and we will see at the end of the meeting. Now, we will not take much time. Our speakers are waiting to speak and we would like to take their experience, how they have done and we will take their inspiration, our leaders. So our first business session is about speeches. So we have some beautiful, inspirational, motivational and leadership skills, features which we have. So I would like to invite the speaker number one. Before inviting him, I would like to invite the first evaluator for our Toastmaster Ahmed Balushi. Toastmaster Gangadhar Rao, can you explain his uh, speech introduction for the Toastmaster Ahmed Balushi? Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, respected president, fellow Toastmaster and distinguished guests. A very good evening to you all. Our speaker, Toastmaster Ahmed Al Balushi, today he is delivering his final project from Pathways Dynamic Leadership. It's always a privilege to attend such a speech when somebody is completing a Pathways. So from our club, I think he's the second person to complete a Pathway with the last project. And the purpose of this project, the member to reflect on his her growth during the completion of this path. How did it reflect on him, completion of this path? Also to share the aspects of his growth during the, uh, this journey throughout this path. What was his experiences throughout this journey started in year back? So we are all looking forward to that. Uh, Toastmaster Ahmad Balushi, wish you all the best. Back to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Gangadhar Rao, to show his speech. Now move on. I will not take much time. Now we need to invite our first speaker of our meeting. Our, he is our VP Education, Toastmaster Ahmed Balushi. He is the business owner of FinTech IT Services and Consultation. Besides, he was ex-management in the IT department in Galpair and Bahrain Islamic Bank with more than 35 years of experience. Moreover, Toastmaster Ahmed is an expert in the fourth industrial revolution and fintech solution, as well as he is the founding member of Bahrain Artificial Intelligence Society. Maybe he will make me a robot later. And a winner of PIO 200 award three consecutive times. So I am welcoming him, Toastmaster Ahmed Balushi, for his project completion speech. Over to you, Toastmaster Ahmed Balushi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Am I audible? Yes, everybody? Yes. yes. I would like I would I would like the timer to defend the timer with me in the speech. Already started. 
I, I need them to pin him to pin him with me so I can see the screen because it might, might go from the screen. I cannot see the timer. Plus that my timing should be 10 to 12 minutes, not five to seven. That's not yes. that. Right? Yeah? I noticed that. Sure. Uh, you need to pin him. You need to pin him, uh, Mr. Ahmed. Uh, it's, it's actually I don't have the so, option. No, so I cannot because the co-host can do that or the host can do that. Yes. So, uh, okay. When when there is a time is uh, reaching, I will make the spotlight so you can continue. Okay. okay. Yalla, bismillah. Let's start. Fellow masters, dear guests, good evening. You can be a good writer, if you are a good reader. And also, you can be a good speaker if you are a good listener. And this is why I'm presenting this speech today to complete my path, also to, to show you what are the skills and the accomplishments that I have gained through this journey. As per the Simi, who knows are not equal for those who do not know, which is knowledge against ignorance. And Toastmaster is the place for you to gain knowledge. So if I have to start, I will start with this great journey, the journey that I have been through during the last one year which was like a fast track I have gone through to reach to this stage. And then I will move to the second pathways that I, am, I already started at the level one, I will be finishing it very soon. I will be moving to level two as well, where my DTM journey will start. Now, let me share with you some of the skills that I gained through this journey. The most important skill that I have gained, which is the sagacity. I can't talk. Maybe my colleagues in the, in the club, they, they, they know how, how I started it and how it's going on now and how the skills have been improved. The confidence that I have gained in the presentation, the stage fear. I remember the first time when I have standed on the stage, I was so confused. I even forget simple words to say them. I mean, when I was uh, uh, talking on the stage, the real stage, I mean. The English language itself has been improved because of that. Collaboration, you will, you will learn. This, this is a skill that, that you will gain it during your uh, journey and in a Toastmaster. Assessment, this is a very important skill. Assessment, it will, first number one, it will enhance your English. It will show you how to put the sentences in a proper flow. And the coherence of these sentences, they make sense for everybody who will be reading them. The tolerance, this is something that you will learn it, a skill that you will, you will get it within, uh, within Toastmaster Club. Teamwork, being dynamic, planning, self-learning, Something that not everywhere they can get. If I have to say my accomplishment in the Toastmaster Club, I got better confidence. I became a better speaker, a better listener, a better evaluator. I gained followers. I demonstrated my knowledge in front of people, same I'm doing now with you. And the most important thing that I can consider it as the biggest accomplishment is the leadership and communication skills or, or, or gift that I got it through this journey. And this is all Toastmaster about, leadership and communication. Now, if I have to, to count the accomplishment outside the Toastmaster, think about the audience sphere. This is, I got it. I have been through events, conferences, uh, uh, remotely, even in, in, in reality. This has been vanished or almost 
70, 80% gone. I'm able now to impress others. This is something that you have to experience, to know. I experienced it, and that's why I am there. Reputation, you get the reputation. People started knowing me outside. Start knowing that there's a person called Ahmad Saleh al baluji He is good in industry 4.0. And this is all because I could talk in events and conferences. That's why the people started knowing me. I promoted myself. Uh, it's a better, like, I have created a better profile in the social media or appearance than I, I was before joining Toastmaster Club. I learned the spirit of tolerance. I learned how to help others. Toastmaster is a place to help people because you are giving them your experience and your knowledge for free. So this is like a charity from you to give it to others. It is something that will remain forever. We call it in our, uh, as Muslims, we call it sadaqa. And we call it sadaqa jariya. It's always, it's, the flow will never stop because the people, they learn from you the skill and this skill will remain with them and they will transform it to somebody else as well. I learned the leadership, as I say. The leadership is something that you cannot get it. Some people, maybe they are born with leadership, but some, they get it with, with practice. This is what I get it. I, I, although I was a leadership before I, I, I quit my job, but what I got it over here in the Toastmaster is much, much better. Positive communication, how to communicate with others. This is something I learned in Toastmaster Club. Appreciate others. When you assist people, you appreciate what they are doing. You are encouraging them to be better. The words that you choose, the message that you are sending to them, this will show that this place is a place that appreciates what you do, even if it's not at that limit, but still you can be better because of this encouragement that you get from your family within uh, the society of Toastmaster. I learned to deal better with my own family. I, I'm now not like four years or three years back. My, everything, the way that I am, I'm, I'm communicating with my family, I'm sitting with them, is different with my friends. The ethics, the, the, the morals itself, it's all changed. It's all changed. It's all because of most, mostly, mostly because of the things that I learned through the, the, uh, the Toastmaster Club. Now, if you think about Toastmaster, think about meditation. Think of that you keep your head, uh, just clear your head, close your eyes, and you just see where you want to head yourself. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to reach? What is the impact of such environment on you as a Toastmaster, as a human, as a, as, as a worker? What is it? So if, if you ask me, my personal opinion, it had lots of impact on me. I could build a confidence to be a public speaker. That's, that's, that's a big gift. I could improve my presentation skills. I could present, I, I, I could present better content to the audience. And even the flow of the presentation, it was much, much, it has become much better than before. As I said, the impact was also on the leadership, it has improved my leadership. I can communicate in a much better way with others, either uh, in the social life or in, 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 in the career path or in my, my business as well now. I, I ha I'm having a better communication pattern or policies with these people that I'm communicating with. In general, it has increased my, my professional goals and it has given me a better pathway or a better uh, vision to look forward and try to reach that stage of, of, of success. By that, 
if you ask me, what is my next step after I have done all these steps or all these achievements? I, I call them achievements actually. This is these are things that I could not gain them if I was not, if I, if I hadn't gone through this, this journey of the Toastmaster. But still, I count myself maybe 10 or 20, 20 percent of the journey. Still, so there is a long, long uh, journey I have to, I have to run after, and I have to accomplish other, other success stories. So for that, I set new goals for myself. It was nothing other than the same skills that I want to gain. I want to get more accomplishment. I want to learn more things. But if you tell me what would mostly you want to gain or to reach that stage, it was, I will tell you exactly what I want is my leadership. I want to take over my leadership position to a place that I will only talk when I need to talk. Two or three or four or five words will be more than enough to build a sentence and send the message to others. I want to practice and to give better speeches, motivational and inspirational speeches. I want to become a more effective speaker, network with others, and I want to build social connections with others in a better way. I want to influence others through my Toastmaster language. This is my goal, new goals and the new pathway that I will be selecting. Thank you very much. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Ahmed Balushi, for your inspirational speech for the others, those who would like to make their path completion as our Toastmaster Ahmed Balushi completed his pathways dynamic leadership. So wish him good luck for his future projects, become his DTM. I wish him good luck. Move on. So now I would like to invite evaluation number two. Toastmaster Anurhada to explain the speech evaluation for the speaker, his introduction. Toastmaster Anurhada. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Good evening, Mr. President, fellow Toastmasters and the distinguished guests. The speaker, PM Santosh Abraham, the, he would be presenting his uh, speech on planning and implementing. The purpose of this project is for the member to practice developing a plan and bringing that plan to fruition. The purpose of the speech is for the member to share some aspect of planning and implementing his or her small scale project. I wish the speaker a very good luck. Back to you, PM Modi. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster Anuradha, to explain the introduction about the speech for our speaker number two. So now we'll move on. So now our next speaker, there's a not required any introduction because everyone knows who is he and what, what I have to say. But as per the formalities, I have to say, our next speaker, number two, Toastmaster Santosh Abraham. He is a Toastmaster since 2002. Participated and won several contests, debates and events in the first episode in Toastmaster till 2009. Again, he rejoined Toastmasters in the year 2019 
as a vp education of our club bahrain it toastmasters professionals club after a decade last year he was won area level international speech champion and our current president of the club general manager for international it consulting company called it people as i told you not required in introduction but now his speaker number 2 toastmaster santosh abraham and his attempting pathways leadership development level 3 planning and implementing and the speech title planning to succeed during covid-19 <coughs> planning to succeed during covid-19 back to you toastmaster santosh abra by failing to prepare you are preparing to fail mr toastmaster day fellow toastmasters and my dear friends these were the words of benjamin franklin they say a good a goal without a plan is just a wish but many people think that planning is useless and a waste of time you know in the holy bible it says about one man called noah who was building a large ark because god spoke to him that there is going to be a huge flood and heavy rain coming up but when noah was building this ark everybody was making fun of him saying because there was no rain there was no floods but ultimately few days later it did rain for 40 days and 40 nights till the waters reached the highest mountains and everybody perished except for noah and his family who were inside the ark always plan ahead with sagacity remember it wasn't raining when noah built the ark barren as well as the gcc saw the sudden emergence of a deadly virus called covid-19 or our corona virus which calls for a plan which was where there's a need for a plan for businesses to respond to this pandemic and our company it people was a company that is is a company that handles it consulting and it outsourcing now my project today is all about how we plan to succeed during a pandemic situation like this first of all let me tell you what planning is planning is basically what to do how to do it and when to do it now the most robust company is not a company that has the best plan in place but it's a company that has the best implementation practices flexibility teamwork and the ability to make changes and adapt to the changes you know yeah, uh, that is why darwin said that the most adaptive species or species are the ones that are the fittest of the all now let me tell you what the planning process is all about the planning process is basically this the it can be summed up into four of these bullet points it, you have to identify the goal objectives that you have to achieve formulate strategies to achieve them because finally if you have a goal you need to have a strategy and unless you have resources there is no way you can achieve these strategies basically so you need to create resources you got to add resources and finally implement direct and monitor all the steps in the proper sequence now let me tell you how we had drawn the plans to combat covid-19 we have just had few intentions out here one is to maintain the current business which was a challenge during a, the covid-19 i'll be explaining this in detail later increase more business that is a double challenge especially during a pandemic time where businesses were closing down reduce the cost which was the core area that most of the companies were concentrating on and keeping up the morale of the staff which practically was one of the toughest aspect that we faced 
Now, I would like to share with you how we had implementation, implemented our strategies. What are the implementation strategies that we've adopted for each of these goals that we had? The first goal, of course, was to goal was to maintain the existing business. Now, to maintain the existing business was a challenge because contracts were being terminated. We had around eight contracts that were terminated and people were losing jobs. At this point of time, the maintenance strategy that we adopted is that we met the clients directly and said, we are all in this pandemic together. We were all fighting together. We are there to support you. And we said, we are ready to reduce the cost of the, the contracts for six months. We gave a six month span and we, each of, we spoke to each of our people, our employees, our resources, and mutually agreed on a salary reduction that is comfortable with them for the six months. And we gave them a better rate and the, and the clients really appreciated that. And for those people who lost their jobs, the ones who lost their jobs in the, in the eight contracts, we were able to redepute most of them into other contracts because, and other, other clients because, because there were no tickets and no, no visas happening. So people, recruitment is not happening from outside. So it is easy for 95% of those people who lost the contracts, we were able to redepute them elsewhere. The second goal was to increase more business, which was a challenge. Now we had the biggest challenge we had is we could not recruit new resources because the logistic issues were there. No new visas, no new flights, but the best option that we had is to offshore deputation. If we could have people sitting in India and other places and working for us and do internal recruitments from Bahrain. And we had a 10% increase in total revenue compared to 2019, which was a great success. And this is something which everybody wants to reduce costs. But we made sure that we did not reduce the salaries of our people, of those performers. We said, if you even bring a single business, your salary is not going to be cut off. But if you don't have a business, a 20% deduction will be there. If three, three months in a sequence, if you don't have business, 30% is there. And we were able to cut costs on the, on, on the rents by 20%. Travel costs was nil. VoIP was used so that internet, the telephone calls were reduced. And the government assistance was there for Bahraini salaries and GOCs. And to keeping out the morale of the staff, we made sure that everybody celebrated their birthdays just like we used to do in other times. A cake was delivered to the homes. And we all will come on Zoom together and we will, we will plan their birthdays. We will celebrate achievements together. And incentives were given on quarterly basis instead of annual basis. And increments were given more than we did in earlier times because we knew achieving results during a time like this was a challenge. And what are the results? Results during 2020 was that we had 10% increase in sales, 45% increase in profits, and 48% reduction in the cost. It was a huge achievement all through. And I want to conclude this way with the Baron Buffet's quote, which says, someone sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a very long time ago. And I want to conclude with this few words that for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. With that, I pass the control back to the Toastmaster of the day, Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you, Postmaster Santosh Abraham. What a inspirational speech as a business owner or as a entrepreneur you have shown for difficult time, how to overcome. Thank you so much. That's the inspirational speech. Now we'll move on. Now we have to go with the speaker number three. Before going over there to the speaker three, now I will request Toastmaster Jini Johar to explain the read preparation of the introduction for the next speaker. Toastmaster Jini, screen is yours. Hi, good evening, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I'll be evaluating DTM Khalid Jalal. He is doing his part, Strategic Relationships, Level 5, and the purpose of his project and his speech is one and the same. This is for the member to reflect on his growth during the completion of an entire path. I wish all the best to DTM Khalil Jalal for his speech with his speech title, Tactical Affiliation. Timing is 10 to 12 minutes. Back to you, Toastmaster of the Day. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster Jeannie evaluation for our next speaker. So now, again, this is also one more speaker, no need his introduction. Everyone knows in the Bahrain, 
even in the region, Kuwait. Now move on, maybe in the world. Next, he will be the next our regional director. I wish him as well as international director. So I have his introduction. Toastmaster, not Toastmaster, his DTM, Hala Jalal. He is a Toastmaster since 2018. Charter member of Garamco Toastmasters Club. Charter member of our own club, BITP. Charter member of Bahrain Distinguished Toastmaster. Charter member of Bahrain Distinguished Toastmaster Club and the president of Baluch Toastmasters Club, members at St. Paul Toastmasters Club, Indian Academy Toastmasters Club. I don't know how many membership he is having in all of our clubs. He is also an inspirational Toastmaster in Toastmaster fraternity. Today, he's completing his third path in the pathways. This is also Toastmaster inspiration, how we have to achieve the pathways. He's already started his parallel to the third and the fourth as well. So he's attempting his project pathways, strategic relations, ships. Level five, reflect on your path. The time 10 to 12 minutes and the project title, tactical affiliation. Tactical affiliation screen is yours, DTM Khaled Jalal. Thank you very much, Toastmaster of the day. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Thank you. Dear audience, has someone ever motivated you to do something long term? Start it, you will finish it. Attempt it, you will be successful. These were the words way back in 2000, 2001. One of my ex IT manager used to tell me when I approached him for an advice, should I start my master's degree? He said, yes, start it, one day you will finish it. Now, I don't know what he meant by one day. He might have thought I'll fail every year till last breath of myself and I'll finish it, but he motivated me to start something. Similarly, I have started Toastmasters journey and I've started the third path. And I was hopeful that I'll be finishing it before end of the term. And here I am in front of you talking about my experience. The third path which I'm going to present is a strategic relationship. And I'm going to share with you my experience in this path. The core objective of this path tells me here are the skills apply them into an organization, voluntary organization, and make it successful by the means of better communication, by the means of understanding your leadership style, the diversity, how you can communicate and build relationship with individuals, with corporates, professionals, and how you can set up strategies for something you want to achieve, either for yourself or for the organization make sure you're successful. So with this aim, I've started my journey. I started my plan. In pathways, we all start the first level with the icebreaker, the evaluation and feedback, research. The icebreaker, we all know, we talk about ourselves. Research is something important in this path. And what I did in this research, I went deeper to what I already know on a disease called hydrocephalus. And why I did it? Because it is close to myself. 
because my daughter, when she was only nine months old, she gone through this pain. And with the technique I learned from Toastmasters, I was able to do more and more research so I know what it is and I spread the message to others. But I went to the level two. It asked me to learn myself more and more and more by understanding my leadership style. What type of leader I am, what type of person I am. How do I mix up with the culture? How do, what do I know about them? Do I know my own culture? Do I know how a mentor can help mentees? Very important. It taught me that what type of leader I am and what I want to be. I always wanted to be a good person, but the feedback I received, the best thing for me is to democratic leader and be a servant leader. And that's exactly what I'm trying to be. Help everyone in all the way possible. At least somebody will get a small benefit from me. That means I've learned something. I've given something back to the society. Being a Baloch origin, it's always known that they are warriors. But I always had that thinking in my mind, we only fight war, get angry. That's how I look, but I'm not an angry person anymore. Toastmaster has changed me. I found from the research that my own community has a beautiful part despite being a warrior, music, love, dance, songs. Then I related this to myself, to my DNAs, that why there's something within me that always tells me, do some poetry. Don't be angry all the time. Think about something beautiful in form of words. Level three, when I started, it asked me to connect through networking. Use software tools for your presentation and be an active listener. We always use software tools for presentation, but how do I connect socially and with networking and how I improve my listening skills? I did this. I did a research when I was starting a club. What I did is I connected to two people who I know, they supported me, and I asked them to connect to their people to get me more members. And then we also went through social media, all social media, and tried to approach new members, prospects. And we also did a speech club, which is very common in Toastmasters. For the benefit of non-Toastmasters, it is a program to attract new members to Toastmaster industry. And I found none of them works better than social media in this time. That were I targeted. And after that, I charted club after club and after club. Everyone asked me, what is the secret? Social media. And I went to the kids, small kids in St. Paul Toastmasters Club. I told them how they can be an active listener when I taught them how to do table topics. They all enjoyed, they all loved it. And tell, let me tell you, when you are in front of kids and you see their smile, it's a different world altogether. A lot of learning, a lot of love from them I got when I was trying to improve my active listening with them. When I went to level four, it says the core public relation, come up with a strategy, manage online meetings, serious stuff start coming in. Okay, what can I do now? Any guesses? Before time is over, please guess quickly. My, man, my evaluator is guessing, so let me make use of the time. I came with a strategy at the start of the term where I was given a post of division director. I came with a strategy that how can we promote pathways? How can I increase the member retention and new clubs? How can we do speech craft, young leadership program, social activity? And how can we help our members to become DTMs, become mentors, sponsor, because last two points, mentor and sponsor, help them to become a DTM. These are requirements. 
with the strategy, with the plan we have put together. Let me tell you the results today. All of them are achieved already. We are halfway through of the term. They're all achieved because of good planning, because of having the right strategy for the right audience. If you study the audience, their requirements, we have done a survey in the start of the term. And based on the survey, we have put our strategy, what needs to be achieved, and we worked on it to achieve it. One of the elective asked me to do online meetings, manage online meetings. So I went outside the Toastmasters meeting to professional organizations, technology and business society, and the NGN, which is a security company. We helped the international market to come and talk about security during the COVID time. How can I improve the business during the COVID time? And I was managing the meeting online from Bahrain with my team from Technology and Business Society. These skills are there because I'm part of Toastmasters and I had a lot of learning from Toastmasters. And why I was called by, by my own Technology and Business Society, because they knew I'm part of Toastmasters and I can manage it better from the skills I have received from Toastmasters. Isn't that a brilliant thing? Try it out. Don't limit yourself to one club. Come out of the comfort zone. Finally, leading your volunteer organization, the core objective, and moderate a panel discussion as an elective. What I did, I took Toastmasters. I said, let me lead Toastmasters whatever I can. At least Division C, where I'm director. I started promoting Toastmasters everywhere I go. You check my social media, I, the way I talk, the people I meet is only Toastmasters, Toastmasters, Toastmasters. I started mentoring individuals and start coaching individuals. And Toastmasters, Jini, Johara can second what I'm saying because I am also a mentor or coach in the club. That means I'm also coaching clubs. And this is a list of the clubs I'm coaching and I'm mentoring. This is what I'm giving back to Toastmasters. These are the clubs which I have chartered from the strategy we have put and use the help of social media. And Napoleon said, give me educated mothers. I shall promise you the birth of civilized and educated nation with that I came with the idea of chartering a new club for mothers. This will be the first woman Toastmaster club in Division C. All of the women mothers are welcome. And here you can see the first AI virtual conference was moderated by me out of my comfort zone, chaired by the chairman of Shura Council in Bahrain. Ladies and gentlemen, I have achieved what I wanted to achieve as Division C Director. What are your goals? Whatever you have done, you can always do something better. You cannot undo the move you have done, but you can always do something better. Back to you, Toastmaster Zali. Wow, what a inspirational Toastmaster in the region. I really like the way which he has shared for us. Now here, those whoever is watching, let him follow his path as our club also. He's mentoring a lot of members. And I was thinking only the individual member, now he's, he's doing mentoring for clubs. I don't know now next he will make his uh, mentorshiping to the country level or maybe in the worldwide. I wish him best of luck for his rest of his future in the mm -hmm. Toastmaster fraternity as well as his personal and professional life. I will not take much time. Now our subject at arms shared the best speaker poll. So I would like our members to participate for uh, taking their time for a few seconds, just only not take much time. So just click on the link in the chat 
so just click and i i recommend everyone to participate to make the best speaker all speeches in my view is all our best and up to the individuals who can select it and i am taking only 30 seconds time for you to click this link and select the best speaker move on i believe everyone has been selected toastmaster wasim one of the member has requested lost the connection in between can you resend again the link for the best speaker so now we will move on the most awaiting part we are waiting impromptu speeches for that we have our club champion toastmasters gangadhar rao who is our table topic master and i wish him to be not only our club champion i want him to be district or maybe international level if he wish to continue as i have seen him he is the member from the beginning when i am watching our toastmasters he is 100% attendance so he is our inspirational leader to follow or doing things 100% in the attendance and i will not take much time and i would like to give control back to our table topic master toastmaster gangadhar rao Screen is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, I like the words "hundred percent attendance," but hundred uh, percent attendance never give me a centum in my education. So attendance sometimes doesn't matter what we score. So, but it is interesting to be there in the register. Always, you be a, be there in the session. Respected President, fellow Toastmaster and distinguished guests, a very good evening to you all. i always enjoy conducting table topics when you sit on the other side of the table conducting you will enjoy teasing people throwing idea in 30 seconds speak come on speak so the similar enjoyment comes either side of the uh, table wherever you sit but that's the about the speciality of table topics so today's table topics uh, <clears throat> theme what we are picking is uh, based on pictures speak louder than words so today we are going to share some pictures and uh, we you can deliver a speech of 2 to 3 minutes on each one so we will go again on the volunteering who want to volunteer for the speech please come forward and uh, based on that i will share the image uh, for uh, less than uh, 20 seconds based on that you can start your speech so who will be the first volunteer TTM Kali Jalal stable topic master yes i don't know it's a coincident i have a right image in front of me let me share my screen Here you go. Long time ago, people who sacrificed the sleep, beautiful <laughs> laughter, and the joys of life were called saints. But today they are called masters. So, table topic master, uh, toast masters, our guest from all around the world. What a lovely photograph and the topic. I completely agree with this. if you're talking about me cuz i cannot talk on behalf of others copyright data protection policies so i'm not going to talk about anyone else but myself yes 
Toastmaster brought me to that state. If earlier I used to sit late, write some poetry, or watch a movie, or think about something, or a strategy, people always say, what are you doing late night? Are you mad? Are you in love? Are you broke? Someone bro uh, you know, cheated you? All such comments. I, and I used to tell them, look at this face. You think someone can fall in love with me that they can break my heart? No way. But that was my excuse always to run away from all such comments. Till the time I joined Toastmasters. I was enjoying it because only twice a month I sit late to write my speech. Then time passed, I become a director. Then three days in a week, I take rest. Not for myself, not for my work, but for Toastmasters. I take rest from everything else, work for Toastmasters. Time passed, I become division director. I only get three hours a day for myself to sleep. Rest of the time, I'm only doing either my office work, eight hours, all the rest of the time, I'm doing my Toastmaster work to help Toastmasters community, all the members. That's what I am today, and I'm going to change it after six months. That's a promise. Back to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you, DTM Khalid. That's what is expected from you always. Yeah, so who is going to be the next Table Topic volunteer? Okay. Ahmad. Give me a second, let me share my screen. <laughs> okay. Follow those masters, dear guests. Good evening again. We know I love this movie, the Taken movie. One, two, three. I have some skills, and I will make sure I will find you, and I will kill you. <laughs> All right. Well. Yes, somehow I agree with the sentence. I'll find you, which is I will try my best. As a VP education, it's my job to make sure that the members are on the track or at least that they are attending the meetings and all these things. But unfortunately, maybe due to the, 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 the busy schedule that they have, they are not able to attend sometimes and most of the time they cannot attend sometimes they can attend but yes i have to find another way or other ways to convince our members to come back again and join us again and so they can start restart their journeys again as as i said in my uh, in my speech or in my presentation that toastmaster really add a big value to anyone or any any member, it's not on, only inside the Toastmaster or for your career path or professional uh, path. It's, it's it's everywhere, even in your social life. It will give you lots of advantage and benefits where you can uh, improve your life, the quality of your life. And therefore, I hope that it was this message specifically is good for me to say what I want to say. That please rejoin again. Come on, explore your talents, your skills again, because this is really a good place for you. Uh, for me, after I went to the early retirement, this Toastmaster helped me a lot to find another way to make myself engaged. And this is why you will need this place. The, the youngest, the youngers, the youth, that you need it. After a while, you will need this, this place to make you a professional 
towards your next step of your life. Thank you very much. Back to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Ahmad. I will dedicate the picture to you. I will send it back to you. You can use it as a virtual background that will suit you very well putting in the back. <laughs> so people are scared of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now I'm looking someone from guests. Any volunteers from guests? Khalil, I, I recommend Khalil, Khalil Aradi. Khalil Al Aradi. Hi, Are you there? I second that. Ahmed Saleh has blue sheet. I hate you, Ahmed, really. <laughs> I'm just a passive watcher here, and you just involve me. Okay. <laughs> I, will I, 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 will find, I will find you. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Khalil. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to master Khalil. Here you go, your email picture to speak. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, wish uh, it's exactly what I felt right now, that I was uh, so scared to um, someone telling my name, like Mr. Ahmed did, just calling me without any expectation that I will have to speak, rather that I just wanted to be uh, and enjoy uh, what was uh, said. And when he, when they called me, as a Toastmaster, you always want to say a message, convey a message that all will be entertained and have an idea and to see and to boost their motivation and to visualize their excitement in their eyes as well as in their heart. And that you wish deeply inside that the topic or your performance will be really good. And this is something shifts you from being passive to being completely involved. And as now, although this is the first time that I see some of the people, I'm here, live into existence and they feel my presence as Mr. Khalil. And I would love that the topic that I'm talking about right now, that they are amused by this tiny message that I'm saying that being something, though little, though having a little contribution can make the whole difference for you in the first place and for the others. That's all what I can say. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Khalil al -Aradi. That was a very apt speech calling you out of surprise. Okay, now I can see raising a hand from, I am exactly about to ask someone to speak from lady section. I can see hand raising from Chetna Seti. No, I just, I just clapped for Toastmaster Khalil. Oh, I uh, why, why, why don't you? Why don't you? I take it as table topic. I yeah, find you too, Chetna. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> okay. Okay, Chetna. So here the topic for you. Uh, I'm not ready. Yeah. I'll just try. <laughs> Give it to me. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, that's all about uh, table topics. Oh, uh, I didn't understand that red and green light. Uh, anyways, I'll that try. Everything driven by time in test motors masters, including this. 
Okay, I guess the Valentine's Day is coming, so I, you have just taken this uh, for uh, related to that. The guy is standing with a ring. Uh, I am not sure what exactly this picture uh, is intended to tell. Uh, can you just elaborate a little so that I can just add so to what it? We are, what yeah, we are trying to say is every Toastmaster doesn't do anything without time completion. He waits for the red signal, then only ah, does Okay, anything. that is the... Okay, right. fine. Okay, okay, okay. So as... Uh, as uh, I, I agree with this, because uh, today I heard a speech uh, by Toastmaster, I mean, President Santosh, that everything should be done with planning. And I guess the boy has come with a big plan of uh, giving the ring to the girl and uh, the time is up. So he doesn't have a chance to do that. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster. Yeah, that was a good attempt. They will talk yeah, so that was the first attempt. I, I'm sorry, this was the first attempt. I, I'm attem attempting it for the first time. The table, table topics. There is always there a first. No talk. That's yes. I'm, table topic master. Yeah. Can I attempt the same topic with your permission? Yeah, please. Can you Don't bring it share? Yes, yeah. please. Leave it on. Yeah. Table topic master, fellow Toastmasters, and our guest. What a beautiful picture with a great message, especially in the COVID era. Especially if the boy is a Toastmaster. That exactly shows in the picture that person is definitely a Toastmaster because there is a timing machine in front of him. And we all know in Toastmaster how to manage time, but also we learn how to manage our investments. So this brilliant, very wise boy is waiting for the red light to be declared as time disqualified because if he's disqualified, then he doesn't need to hand over the ring to the lady and he can save this beautiful expensive ring for a future investment after the COVID. And that's why he's waiting for so long to see the red light come in and being a Toastmaster, I'm sure he has the right strategy to win, and he's going to win, although he's sweating a lot. Back to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you, DTM Khalid. Yes, the picture speaks louder than words. Without saying no to the girl, you can say no using a light. Who is, I think we have, uh, uh, we can do one more, right, uh, TM Modi? You're on mute, you're on mute. Uh, yes, we can do one more, only one. Yeah. That too, yeah. you call to me. I will, I will try. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think right. Okay. Everything today is a coincidence. So I'm just sharing. Thank you, Table Topic Master, for uh, this. I have to give a speech should have joined Toastmasters. Yes, whatever as our precedence is mentioned, pictures speaks thousand words. So here, what I understand here, I have to give a speech yet you must be a Toastmaster, otherwise you can't deliver. While you come on the Toastmasters, your fear will go out. If you are a non-Toastmasters, try to speak and facing lot of challenges, not to finish at least a two minute. So while you are speaking from your out of the box, think from your feet, the words will come out 
some of them, they struggle to be seeing what I have to say next. As a public speaker, when you speak, the words will come in front of you. The mind will run by itself. This is the advantage of the Toastmasters while you're speaking. This is the example what I would like to say. Uh, we have here Toastmasters. I have not seen earlier before how they were speaking, but you can take example of mine. I will not able to speak minimum two minutes. I can speak, but I have to look here. I hear and look here when I have to finish my two minutes to see the signal. So now at least I'm speaking and moving on uh, lots of speeches, maybe write the track. Right now, there are the inspirational speeches happen in our today's meeting. I gain a lot from that and I wish I will be continue the follow of our leaders. Thank you and back to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Muhammad Vikaruddin. So that is the final message what we are trying to say from the pictures as well. Instead of using your hands to hold your head, you can use your hands to hold your mic if you join Toastmasters. So be ready for that. So with that, I would like to end my table topic session. Back to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Table Topic Master, such a wonderful and uh, humorous and more fun I have ever seen in the table topic. So it was the topic, the audience, those who selected exactly is matching. I was laughing myself. Thank you so much, table topic master. You are inspirational for the table topics. Now move on. Here our uh, subject terms, Toastmaster Wasim has shared the link. I request all of our members, those who are here, please select the best table topic winner. I will give you only a few seconds to select the best table topic mass table topic speech speaker. Now we will move on. As per our agenda, now we need to, to have our business session. I request our president, Toastmaster Santosh Abraham, take the control back to the business session. Over to you, Mr. President. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. And one more time, I would like to uh, come across, this is the first time we are having the business session after a very long time because we were during the contest session. So we don't have a minutes of the last few meetings prepared. Our one our secretary has been out of station. Secondly, it's all been contest season and workshops all through. But I, even for workshops, I believe that somebody needs to take a, a, a note of these things. Uh, we probably for next week, meeting onwards, we need to do some deputation. But uh, going straight ahead with the with the reports, can I have a sudden at arms? Do we have any reports at this stage from your side? Thank you, Mr. President, fellow Toastmaster and distinguished. Uh, so far, I just only prepared the poll uh, using a uh, Zoom link. So I don't have that ID, which you last time you shared most probably when uh, there were uh, this, uh, there was a contest. After that, I did not prepare actually anything, but they, uh, from now I will just prepare this poll and uh, in the next meet, meeting, I'll just uh, use that poll for voting in all. Right, thank you, uh, Southern Tams. You are doing a good job as such, even without that ID, but you can of course have the ID and prepare ahead in time. So the, the, the I see the polls coming pretty fast too right now. Very good. All right, so now we don't have the accountant. We don't have the secretary in place. They are out of station. Let's hope that we see them for the next meeting. Uh, can we have the report from the BPPR, uh, Toastmaster Vikarudan? Yeah, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, as per the report from the last two months, 
uh, I was attending all the workshops is happening. There is a district uh, UPPR things also. I am doing it. And uh, we have a DTAC. I was attending uh, the DTAC workshop as well as the speech craft program. And these are the things is happening at the moment. Now I don't have much reports on uh, the more things. In the next meeting, I would like to share more about our activity about the PR. And uh, so far, our active member on the Facebook is only few and our all members, I request Khaled Jalal, he has shared his thoughts about the social media, but I have not linked him. So I request him to be joined to our social media campaign and is really inspiration for us. And Toastmaster Wasim and Toastmaster Ahmed Al Balushi to also to be part of our uh, group. So it can be make a tagging to them. So next time we can get the more members on the our meeting. Thank you. And that's it from me. Back to you, Mr. President. Thank you, Toastmaster Vikaradin. Now, I just wanted to tell you that, you know, I know you're busy with the area as well as division, but uh, we would like you also to concentrate on, you're doing a great work in social media, but uh, let's, let's, let's have a subcommittee under you so that we can have the newsletter about it. We would like to have the BITP newsletter about it. Now, that is one way you can get the members also active, the ones who are inactive. They can, there are some people who probably have a problem coming ahead and speaking initially, but they can share their thoughts through the newsletter. And they can, they are, they are great writers out here. Uh, so uh, let, let's, let's uh, even if it's a short newsletter, let's start the newsletter. And I last time I said, you know, there is at least a certificate on an award for people who can recommend the right name for the newsletter. So uh, that, that offer is still on. So if you can go ahead and, and, uh, and mail it to me or send it to me, uh, you have my numbers or you can send it to one of the XCOM members. Uh, they write what your suggestion about the name for the newsletter. Uh, with that, I think we should continue the PR work. Uh, we, my membership adding, addition is a very important thing and that uh, depends a lot on the BPPR as uh, work too. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Toastmaster Vekaradin. And with that, we would like to move across to the BP membership, Toastmaster Gangadhar. Uh, anything from your side? Uh, respected President, fellow Toastmaster, and distinguished a very good evening to you once again. Uh, I think our next uh, target is again, uh, members uh, renewals is open in Toastmaster International. And uh, we have uh, time till March 31st, but we are targeting to uh, finish within February as well as uh, we need to see that everything gets renewed. Otherwise we have to look for some new membership to, adding, uh, to add also. Mm. So that will be the next uh, step in the membership process uh, with them. That's it. Back to you, Mr. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, uh, frankly, uh, we are, I mean, as a VP mem as a membership aspect, we have one couple of awards. I think as membership, what we need to do is also, as the country season gets over, we'll try to see how we can uh, enrich our own members too. So they, they, they also come up with great testimonies. Um, as to how they are getting a benefit out of those masters. So let's, let's do that as a team together, not just the VP membership's role. I know that we should all come together. Maybe we'll discuss that separately in XCOM meeting. Uh, yes, as VP membership, uh, now your role, of course, the major challenge is to get the renewals done. But before we get the renewals, let's also uh, have a small interim interview with each one as to how they find those masters before they go for the renewal aspects. Sure, thank you, uh, Toastmaster Gangada. Uh, for VP Education, Toastmaster uh, Ahmad Al Balushi uh, from your side. Thank you very much, <clears throat> Mr. President. Hello, Toastmaster, dear guests, good evening again. Uh, for the education, actually, we had, um, we had two contests uh, for the ITP club where we selected uh, some of our members to participate in the area. Uh, contest which will be happening on 19th of February. That is done already. So three or four of our members are already participating in this contest. Also, uh, we have finished most of our requirements and you know and, and the pathways for gaining the, the the DCP points. 
So we reached, along with the points that we get from the membership, we reached the, the distinguished uh, level of, of, of the club. But we need one more point in level two, where we will be um, reaching the ninth point, which will be the, the presidential president uh, club. So I, I'm trying to find out one of the most closest who can finish that level. Otherwise, if I didn't find, I already fin I'm finishing level one in the other pathway. I will do a, 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 a quick run, like they, they say, a hundred meter run to finish level two and we gain that before the end of the, of the period. But we are doing good. I mean, we achieved our points. We have- We, we, have, we, have, point, uh, we are on the ninth point, right? Nine points now. Eighth now, eighth. We need one more point, which is the level two. So we will get it. I mean, within a month, inshallah, we will get it. What the points that we have? If we have, don't have nine, uh, is there anything else? Level three, level four? No, finish, done, done. All that is done, okay. All so is done. It's only one level two. We need one more, one more uh, level two to what finish. Is, what, is the, what is the tenth point that we have? It's a, is it a membership renewal? Yes. Membership, membership renewal. If we get another two or three, how many? Uh, uh, think, three, three more, right? Uh, BP membership? Yeah. But we need, I mean, for us to do, we need only one one point to, to, to be a president, a president club. So, uh, I mean, that we will get it within a month. I think, as I said, I, I can do a quick run, like uh, a marathon. I finish level two so we can get this point. Otherwise, as you said at the beginning, we need to set a plan for the rest of the team of the members to, to, to uh, asking them or set them a plan to rejoin again and start their pathways, completing their pathways so they can finish to a good stage for them. They have another four, three, five months ahead for us. And it will be good for them to, to restart. Yeah, I understand your uh, interest to vice president education to re reach the points. But uh, more than that, I would like to have maximum participation in the meetings from the members who are not participating. Rather than it's not just a gaining of points. We would like to have every member getting nurtured and improving their communication leadership skills because that makes us happy, you know. It just that not just few members getting benefit out of it. So I think we need to go and do the gospel work of spreading across uh, the benefit of Toastmasters to others. Again, the ones who are still members, but they are not probably taking the benefit out of it. Yes. So uh, uh, we got to do that. Yes. Uh, I'm just checking the dashboard. You only need one new member to get the DCP point. Okay. One new member to get the DCP point. And one level two. Yeah, so so even either one of this actually we can achieve fast. So let's not try to rush through the projects right now. We, the, what we need is that we need to have make sure that every new member have done their icebreaker, which I think more or less it's there. Let them move to the level two and level threes. I think we need to push that uh, right now for the next XCOM after the contest. That's what we're going to do. And uh, let's let's before June make sure that our members are really taking the benefit out of those masters. With that, I would like to say that 19 we have the area contest. And uh, we'd like most of our members, and all of them, if you can, these, you can be watching that at the, at the comfort of your homes. You don't have to take your car out. You don't have to go through the traffic. You don't have to be there and say that, you know, all this. You can be in between. If you need to go somewhere and come back, also you can do, but still be a part of that area contest. It's happening on the 19th. So um, the venue, uh, the timing has not yet been decided, I believe, right? Uh, the timing is, as the timing, timing has been fixed, right? Uh, for the area contest. Yeah, 19th. Uh, Maybe 19. 19th, but uh, starting from uh, 5 o'clock in the evening, I believe. Yes, yes. It is at, at the afternoon time. It is at the afternoon time. The afternoon time. So uh, I think it, it should be okay for everybody. Uh, so I would appreciate everybody joining on the 19th. Mark your date, 19th, is it? Let's, uh, we all need your, you know, when you we, we see you on the screen, we are all, you know, enthusiastic to go and perform our best. You know, there are a few of us attending the country. It's not just about winning. It's basically, we are trying to improve our skills. That's all. We need, you need to go there, not just to encourage our members, encourage everybody from the area, in fact. And uh, uh, thank you with that, so much. With that, I think I, I would like to conclude the business session and pass the control back to the Toastmaster Day. Toastmaster Day, please take over. Thank you, Mr. President, for the business session. It was very informative for all of them. Now we'll move on. It will not take much time. Now, as per the agenda, we need to we have the next our important session that is the evaluation. I request to our general evaluator, Toastmaster Sandhya Ashokan, 
to take over the control and i request her to take her the meeting thank you toastmaster vikaruddin uh, so now let's start our evaluation session of the prepared speeches i would request toastmaster ganga ganga rao to do the evaluation for the speaker toastmaster ahmed sala over to you toastmaster ganga thank you madam general evaluator uh, fellow toastmaster and this is a very good evening to you all once again a good reader can be a good writer that was something a new uh, paraphrase i am hearing and because i am a good reader now i should start practice writing also so somebody has to tolerate re reading my writing also so that was something very innovatively uh, started and uh, also one good point what out of his experience what he mentioned is a good listener can be a good speaker we always try to speak but our listening capabilities are very limited so toshma samad i have seen his journey virtually with him being beside of him in the club all the time i can see the uh, informa uh, the benefits of his path what is he is sharing using the beautiful words like impress and influence people with uh, his toastmaster journey what he achieved at the same time help and appreciate this is the two words always there on with ahmed on his both the shoulders one said help one said appreciate he always carries both of them all together which is very much visible and uh, definitely toastmaster has uh, driven towards that and another beautiful thing toastmaster can do the way he explained dealing with family friends and business community everywhere there is a toastmaster influence in his life that is very beautifully explained i am sure at at home if we apply toastmasters everybody will be happy whenever you want to start speak to your wife you can always start with respected wife fellow family members and distinguished guests so there is an amazing way of having communication at home so that is something very interesting to know how to apply those master at every place family friends and business community apart from this one today the speech uh, has given him a big opportunity mainly the lucky thing luckiest thing in delivering a speech is the more time you get the more luckier you are in those masters the length of the speech is almost 10 to 12 minutes so there is lot to say one thing i was looking uh, in the uh, looking for in the speech specially the no pain no gain in anything even toastmaster doesn't give you things easily freely what you achieve so i was looking for something like the hardship the toastmaster went through to achieve this okay some of the areas the difficulty the pain went through and the kind of hard work has been put in into this i was expecting to look into some of those points which could add a value to the toastmasters as a, so apart from that the time the journey in the toastmaster like always he can beautifully explain from the time he joined in toastmaster what has been achieved in the first half of the year second half of the year you can beautifully build the journey with a time timeline which will definitely add lot of value that's all the few things which i have observed other than that in summary excellent toastmaster ahmed is a natural speaker his ability to speak without any anxiety anything it actually comes out and i can promise that he will be the future motivational speaker in toastmasters in bahrain and that is what the title i would call motivational speaker wish you all the best toastmaster ahmed al balushi back to you uh, madam general evaluator unmute unmute that was a wonderful uh, evaluation by toastmaster gangadhar very aptly done give him a huge round of applause and uh, with this let us uh, proceed to our next evaluator toastmaster anuradha to evaluate speaker toastmaster santosh abraham speech over to you toastmaster anuradha thank you uh, general evaluator tm sandhya 
Oh, this is my first evaluation. So everyone, please bear with me. A very good evening to you all. Okay, what should I say about my speaker? He is a very experienced and a veteran speaker, but coming to his presentation or the speech, I would just say that it, was, it had an excellent opening with a beautiful quote by uh, Benjamin Franklin, by failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. So the presentation was very well organized reflecting his experience in dealing with his, uh, I should say, the firm, his uh, staff, and uh, the way uh, the whole planning process uh, has been uh, explained and how the implementation strategy had been taken up into in the complete presentation. The speech was very informative and very uh, elaborate on how one can plan and implement uh, the planning process and the implementation strategy and all of that. Uh, uh, excellent uh, way of uh, taking uh, the COVID situation, explaining the COVID situation, how he, they have dealt with uh, uh, the challenges that they have faced during the time and how um, cutting down the cost, keeping the people on board, and taking care of them personally and uh, all of that was very well explained, very uh, professionally, I should say. Okay, but coming um, to the recommendations, every, uh, even a good speaker has room for improvement. I would like to suggest the speaker to stand and deliver his speech. In conclusion, I would like to summarize the speech as follows. The speaker was extremely confident in delivering the presentation, very well uh, aware of the uh, audience, excellent usage of quotes by uh, Benjamin Franklin and Warren Buffett and an Af African quote as well, organized, informative and elaborate presentation delivered professionally. All the best to you, uh, TM Santosh. Thank you very much. Back to you, uh, General Evaluator. Thank you. That was a very good uh, evaluation by Toastmaster Anuradha. And I'm sure we all felt like it's not her first evaluation, right? With this note, uh, let us welcome the next evaluator, Toastmaster Jini Jora, to evaluate DTM Khaled's speech. Over to you, DTM. Uh, Toastmaster Jimmy. The single most skill you must have to lead is the ability to tell your own story. The quote by Bo Isa. It was so wonderful part reflection experiences shared by DTM Khaled. DTM Khaled, your speech was so impactful, so meaningful with each and you entered with each word you utter, the love for Toastmasters grew in all of our hearts. It was indeed so beautiful to listen to you what this factory relationship path is all about. So let me start with some of the best things I liked about yours. To begin with, wow, he had all the confidence in whatever he was speaking with wonderful PowerPoint slide presentations. Second thing which I liked was, he had a good humor at the beginning of his speech, when he was opening the speech, wherein he was talking about his master degree completion. And it was so sweet, and it really took the attention of all the audience. Well done. Third thing, you had good hand gestures, and also, there was good transition from level one to level five. You had beautiful PowerPoint slide presentations, well done teacher Kalanjala. Of course in Toastmasters, we have so much of positives, but we do have some tips and suggestions to bring your speech from this level to this level. So for this, let me begin with some two tips I need to give you. Yes, you were so confident in whatever you were speaking throughout your speech, but your energy was lacking. 
The first opening was as someone motivated you. You were like this. But if you had that energy, as someone motivated you, and that question and that energy you had throughout your speech, wow, well, it would have really nice. Second, your voice modulation was same throughout the speech. So if you can work on your voice modulation, you can show that excitement when you chartered new clubs. Yes, I did it something this way. With this, I conclude. Good speech, good confidence, good hand gestures, everything nice. Just need to work on your voice modulations, your energy usage. With this, I'm sure you are already a shining Division C director and a good director among all the directors. And of course, I wish you all the best, Richard Kalajala. And with this, you are going to be the best in Bahrain Toastmasters group. Back to you, General Evaluator, Toastmaster Sandhya. Toastmaster Jimmy, what an evaluation delivered in such a confident way. I'm sure it was a tough task to evaluate DTM Khalid. So with this, uh, let's give all our evaluators a huge round of virtual applause. Now, uh, let's invite our timer, Toastmaster Ahmed Abdullah, to give us the timing report for all the sessions. Toastmaster Ahmed Abdullah. Toastmaster, follow Toastmaster and guest. Good evening again. Uh, we will speak uh, about this first speaker, Toastmaster Ahmad Balushi. He takes uh, 11 minutes, 27, 11, 27 seconds. Uh, the second speaker, Toastmaster Santush Ibrahim, he takes 6 minutes and 55 minutes, 55, uh, 55 seconds. Toastmaster Khaled Jalal, he takes 11 minutes and 30 seconds. For the table, uh, table tip topics, Toastmaster uh, to, uh, uh, Toastmaster Khalid, he take two minutes, 15 seconds. And Mr. Ahmad, Toastmaster Ahmad Belushi, he take two minutes, 19 seconds. Toastmaster Khalid Al Arabi, he take two minutes and five seconds. For Toastmaster Shatina, she take one minute, 12 seconds. And again, Toastmaster Khalid, he take one minute, eight seconds. And then the last, Toastmaster Muhammad, he take two minutes, 11 seconds. For the evaluation, evaluators, Toastmaster uh, Rao, he take three minutes, 46 seconds. And Toastmaster uh, and, and, and Rida, she take two minutes, 30, 36 seconds. And the last Toastmaster Ginny, she take uh, two minutes and 54 seconds. Back to you, evaluator of the day. So, uh, everyone is qualified, or do we have mm. disqualifications, or how do you do it? Uh, yeah, everyone qualified. Uh, Toastmaster, only the evaluator, Toastmaster Rao, he take like 15 seconds more. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster. Ahmed uh, Abdullah for the detailed timing report. Give, give him a big round of applause for through maintaining the time throughout the meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, now may I invite uh, Toastmaster Yunis Abdullah for the R counter and the grammarian report. Toastmaster Yunis. Unmute, unmute. Yunus. Thank you. Thank you very much, General Evaluators. And I, I'm always making this mistake of mute and unmute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for the ah, counter rule, I can say there is there was not a lot of uh, uh, sound whatsoever. I can only notice uh, uh, Ahmed al Blushi, one, uh, one repeated words and two are. Uh, then I have uh, Toastmaster and Gadar Rao, two are. Uh, and uh, uh, that's it. Uh, one, one also, one uh, from Toastmaster Anorda, uh, Anorda, yeah. And that's it. 
regarding yeah regarding the regarding the uh, grammarian uh, i didn't notice any any probable uh, grammatical use or outstanding words or code for our today world which is sagacity it has been used very little to be honest only three times uh, and that's it for me back to you general evaluator give toastmaster yunus a huge round of applause for his double role the grammarian and the r counter performed in a very nice way so now uh, let me proceed with the meeting evaluation so uh, the i found that the meeting has started with most of the members joining before time like for the socialization and uh, the meetings was started by our surgeon at arms toastmaster wasim at dot 7:30 so that's something that we have to applaud for and uh, in this meeting we have found that the maximum members were 22 who attended this meeting on and off that was a great achievement in this virtual meeting especially uh a president atosmaster santosh abraham started with the guest introduction in the very friendly manner and he opened the meeting and started his speech with a special story personal story of a friend who was motivated to join toastmasters and how he you know got well at his career and proceeded with the importance of toastmasters which he has uh, which was very motivational and inspiring he conducted the business session also very professionally in a detailed manner and covered everything right from education to membership to dcp uh, so let's give our president a huge round of applause now uh, today's toastmaster uh, of the day toastmaster vikarudin has introduced uh, and explained the meeting theme well done for that and uh, the timer was introduced uh the timer gave the report uh, for the timer report but uh, there was something regarding the introductions for the timers grammarians and evaluators that was noted maybe you can explain a little more before directly introducing the timer grammarian and the evaluator more than just the name a little detail would add more motivation to them uh, this is for the tmod role and uh, also the timer could keep the color cards as a back backup and uh, also use virtual background instead of the profile picture like they do in the contest which would help everyone practice like whenever we are doing the timer role the word of the day was explained very well by our grammarian but the usage were there in some of the speeches maybe we should uh, start using not only in the toastmasters meeting but also out of this thing okay and uh, our table topic master this master abraham has uh, done a wonderful job you should give him master ganga the table topic sorry uh, to master ganga the yeah table topic master this master ganga the has conducted the tt session in a very entertaining manner with a picture that speaks louder than words very well done and all topics were very entertaining and he uh, one suggestion would be like when uh, we should speak a little about toastmaster role like what it is into to speech and all before uh, introducing and uh, my personal suggestion is like you instead of calling we should give more chances to the people the members who are not currently spoken like most of the speakers we found with all the active speakers so like giving a chance to other people would uh, motivate them to speak come up forward that's the simple thing okay and uh, yeah with this uh, all the speakers were very good and uh, everything every uh, evaluators has done their very best and um, we should uh, thank the captain of the ship uh, for conducting the meeting in a very well timed manner our toastmaster uh, of the day toastmaster mohammad nikal rodil 
So give him a huge round of applause for conducting the meeting in a very timely way with the right from approaching people, perfectly detailed agenda. Everything was done in a very nice way. So give him a huge round of applause. And with this, let me end my evaluation. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so much, Madam General Evaluator. Your presence give us some uh, enthusiasm. Our speeches are very well, and we are speaking very well. So I will not take much time. As Madam mentioned, we are on time. So I would like to take an opportunity to give a vote of thanks, uh, Honorable President Toastmaster Santosh Ibrahim, our IPP DTM Khalid Jalal, our XCOM member. fellow toastmasters and our most valued invited guest ladies and gentlemen it's my privilege to have an ask to propose the vote of thanks for the meeting number 45 i on behalf of bahrain it professional toastmasters club i special thanks to our general evaluator madam toastmaster sandhya and our valued speakers those who have made their inspirational motivation and toastmaster fraternity our speaker number 1 toastmaster ahmed and toastmaster santosh and our dtm khalid jalal and i will not forget our evaluators those who have done a great job for the speakers for their improvement and for their motivation and our role players and very special thanks to our guest i will not forget our role players those who have done a fabulous job especially to yunus abdullah i really appreciate he has done for the first time as a new toastmaster did his two roles madam general evaluator already appreciate for that thank you so much toastmaster yunus and as well as our sajad rams all the time he is also active and start is on time all the evaluator has mentioned for him he started on time and i will not forget even toastmaster ahmed risk who has taken facing problem but he came back thanks so much so let me call its fraternity of toastmasters here together and on behalf extend very hearty vote of thanks to all speakers for a gracious your important meeting and sharing with us their path completion before the area contest i will not take much time back to you madam uh, sorry our president toastmaster uh, pres abraham santosh abraham Come on, Toastmaster Begare. Suddenly, you forgot my name when you made me a madam. You know. Uh, okay, fine. Thank you so much. Round of applause to our captain and and the general evaluator. Both of them have done a great job. Now, if you have brought your hands across with you and you have not left your hands in the other room, I want you to applaud for two more people here. One is not that everybody did their job well, and one one thing I wanted to say is that I really wanted to appreciate. Uh, Yunus Abdullah for taking two roles. You know, when many people are not there here doing their roles, Yunus Abdullah has done two roles. Let's let's give a round of applause to Yunus, please. A round of applause, heartily, sincerely, and don't forget the yeah, effort. Don't forget, Sajid Adams has been the Sajid Adams. He comes on time. He's there logging in. He does the. We had a split poll. Is not easy. He does the poll in time. and he the the final poll is already there by the way you know please uh, please do vote for the rest of the assignees it's uh, he's already put the poll he has done the timers role he's done the surgeon at arms role together so let's give a round of applause to the the surgeon at arms and our timer and amad risk is a person whom we would love to hear speaking because he's been a, a person who's uh, Sorry, I'm a Sajan Atams. He was a Sajan Atams. He's always the timer. Usually, uh, that's why I get mistaken. The timer, Amit Ras did the timer's role, but we want you to be doing a speech soon, Amit. Seriously, because you know you've been doing this timer role well. You have now become an experienced timer right now. 
So, but then Toastmasters is not about just being a timer champion. It's becoming a champion in all aspects. So, we are really looking forward to see you uh, speaking. Every speech was wonderful. I loved each one of them. I liked spending this uh, few hours here. And I'd like to thank all the guests for being here. And uh, generally, Valuta, as well as the others, Ginny and a few others who came across, you know. Uh, while the results are being announced, I would like to have feedback from one of our guests. If, can anybody really... Um, if anybody has not spoken